Hey, hello again. In this lecture, I'll show you how to download and install the Atom editor. Atom is a powerful and very efficient editor for writing and executing Python code. Uh, this lecture is specifically for Windows, so for Mac users, please go to the next lecture. So, uh, this far, what we did uh, was we uh, installed Python and we tried a Python interactive session in the command prompt and we also created a Python program using uh, a simple editor such as Notepad or whatever uh, editor you had in, on your Windows. So now we're going to use another editor, which is Atom. And you need to go and install it from and download it from the Atom official web page. Just click the button there. Save file. And it will take a while until it downloads. Great, the download process has finished now, so I'm going to click on Atom. Click on Run to run the installation. And yeah, you have to wait a while until Atom is installed. And yeah, the installation was quick and now Atom has been open on my Windows. However, I would like to close it here and show you the standard way of how to open uh, Atom. So the way that you'd normally open Atom uh, when you start programming. So one way to open Atom is to browse through your programs and open Atom by clicking it. However, that will open Atom in a random directory, uh, so the most efficient way to open Atom is to go to the directory where you have your programs, so the program that we have is myprogram.py, and then outside in here, right click and go to open with Atom, but if you don't see open with Atom, like I do, so that I don't have open with Atom for now, then go and open Atom, from your programs, go to File, Settings, and then check these two options. So these options were under System, under the System tab of the Settings menu, and then close Atom, and then right click, and now you should see this menu in here, open it. And you should now see this view, but if you see the if you don't see the tree view here, the directory tree view, uh, go to view and then toggle tree view. So you can toggle it off and on. You can close this and then to open your uh, program, so to edit your program, uh, you simply double click your file, your Python file, and yeah, you start writing. Print start adding more code. Um, always press Ctrl S to save. And now to execute this code, you can either go here and open your uh, command pro window here with shift right click, or there is a more efficient way to do it. Um, you need to go to file, settings, packages, uh, sorry, install. You want to install a new package and search for plat platform your IDE terminal terminal hit enter and yeah uh, this is the package I want to install so click install and so this is a package that will install or will integrate a terminal, a, a command line inside Atom so you don't have to use external uh, windows, the native windows command line and you can run your programs from within Atom. Alright, platform your IDE terminal was installed successfully, you can close the settings tab and so now you should see this plus icon in here. Click on the icon will open a new terminal. So now this is open in the current directory which reflects the directory of your Atom directory, uh, so of your programs. Now you can go ahead and type in commands here to run your Python program. So my uh, tab for auto completion, and that will auto complete like that. Don't worry about this. This just means uh, the current directory. So when you uh, do tab, tab will add this, uh, ignore it, and press enter, and you'll see the program output in on the terminal.
you can clear the terminal from the code from previously executed commands and of course you can uh, call previously executed commands with the upper arrow key execute again and don't confuse executing a program with opening a Python interactive session so here you write Python code like print 7 for example interactively but if you exit this because I see some students will uh, go ahead and, and run Python code in here but this is wrong this is not Python this is Windows the Windows command line so don't do that instead write Python code inside an interactive session or inside a Python file. And that's the idea and this is Atom, I hope you like it and I'll talk to you later.